The Biodiversity Heritage Library (BHL) is a consortium of natural history and botanical libraries that cooperate to digitize and make accessible the legacy literature of biodiversity held in their collections and to make that literature available for open access and responsible use as a part of a global biodiversity commons. The BHL Consortium works with the international taxonomic community, rights holders, and other interested parties to ensure that this biodiversity heritage is made available to a global audience through open access principles. In partnership with the Internet Archive and through local digitization efforts, the BHL has digitized millions of pages of taxonomic literature, representing tens of thousands of titles and more than 100,000 volumes. Founded in 2005, BHL soon became the third broad digitization project for biodiversity literature, after Gallica and Animalbase. In 2008, the size of Gallica and Animalbase was passed, and BHL is now by far the world's largest digitization project for biodiversity literature. It is a cornerstone organization of the Encyclopedia of Life. Topic: <laughs> Composition. Initially, the Biodiversity Heritage Library was a collaboration of ten natural history and botanical libraries and currently, it has 14 members. The founding member libraries are American Museum of Natural History New York, New York Field Museum of Natural History Chicago, Illinois Botany Libraries, Harvard University Herbaria, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Ernst Meyer Library, Museum of Comparative Zoology, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Marine Biological Laboratory of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, Woods Hole, Massachusetts. Missouri Botanical Garden, St. Louis, Missouri. Natural History Museum, London, England. The New York Botanical Garden, Bronx, New York. Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew, Richmond, United Kingdom. Smithsonian Institution, Washington D.C. In May 2009, two new members were added to the consortium. Academy of Natural Sciences, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. California Academy of Sciences, San Francisco, California. In November 2011, two new members were added to the consortium. Cornell University Library, Ithaca, New York. United States Geological Survey Reston, Virginia in February 2013 one new member was added to the consortium Library of Congress Washington DC since 2009 the BHL has expanded globally the European Commission's Econtent Plus program has funded the BHL Europe project, with 28 institutions, to assemble the European language literature. In May 2009 a European partner project BHL Europe was founded by 28 consortium partners, mostly European libraries. Shortly thereafter another project BHL China was launched in Beijing, in collaboration with the Chinese Academy of Sciences. 
Since then BHL in the strict sense has been called BHL US, UK usually only BHL US. The global project has been referred to as BHL Global, to distinguish it from the US, UK project. The Global BHL project is managed primarily by the Smithsonian Institution, Washington DC, Natural History Museum, London, and Missouri Botanical Garden. 6 regional centers are planned. Additionally, the Atlas of Living Australia, Brazil through Cielo, and the Bibliotheca Alexandrina have created regional BHL nodes. These projects will work together to share content, protocols, services, and digital preservation practices. There is an online BHL portal featuring Google Maps API integration, Ajax, Tag Clouds, and JPEG 2000 images that facilitate multi resolution zoom and pan. A companion project exists in Europe and is known as Biodiversity Heritage Library for Europe. Topic: Governance. The Biodiversity Heritage Library is managed by a secretariat headquartered at Smithsonian Libraries in Washington, D.C. An executive committee, elected by Biodiversity Heritage Library members, provides strategic direction. The secretariat is led by the BHL Program Director. Thomas Garnett served in that position 2006 to 2012 and was succeeded by Martin R. Karlfatovich 2012 current. Topic: <laughs> Awards. The Biodiversity Heritage Library was awarded the 2010 John Thackeray Medal of the Society for the History of Natural History. This award, "...recognizes significant achievements in the history or bibliography of natural history." In March 2012, the Missouri Botanical Garden received $260,000 in funding from the National Endowment for the Humanities to identify and describe natural history illustrations from the digitized books and journals in the online Biodiversity Heritage Library. The Art of Life project will develop software tools for automated identification and description of visual resources contained within the more than 100,000 volumes and 38 million pages of core historic literature made available through BHL digitization activities. IDG's ComputerWorld Honors Program announced on March 19, 2013, the Bio Biodiversity Heritage Library BHL, as a 2013 laureate. The annual award program honors visionary applications of information technology promoting positive social, economic, and educational change. In May 2013, the Biodiversity Heritage Library was the recipient of the Charles Robert Long Award of Extraordinary Merit from the Council on Botanical and Horticultural Libraries the award is the highest honor bestowed by CBHL, honoring outstanding contributions and meritorious service to the field of botanical and horticultural literature, with only 14 recipients named since 1988. In appreciation of the services to taxonomists, a species of snail from Laos was named Vargapupa biheli in 2015. The species name 
name derived from the initials BHL. The Digital Library Federation named the Biodiversity Heritage Library a joint winner, along with the American Archive of Public Broadcasting, of the DLF 2016 Community Capacity Award. The award recognizes collection action over individual achievement and honors community-minded capacity building in digital libraries, archives and museums. Funding sources The primary funding for the Biodiversity Heritage Library came via the Encyclopedia of Life through a grant from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Additional grants have been received from the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, the Richard Lounsbury Foundation, and the Institute of Museum and Library Services (IMLS). Members of the Biodiversity Heritage Library also have received generous support from their parent institutions. In addition to staffing and other costs, direct contributions have included the Atherton Seidel Endowment Fund by the Smithsonian Institution. <laughs> 